Hey everyone, it's Zadira and today we're going to be building the General Store Mercantile building here in Christmas Town. We're playing on the Holiday Town map. If you've been uh, keeping up with our videos, we're doing a series and we're building the whole entire Christmas Town. First I wanted to show you, here's the bridge that we built in the first episode. And over there is the restaurant and the beauty salon. We, we did that in the previous two episodes. And then over here, with the there's the ice skating rink and the Christmas tree lots over there also. So you come across the bridge, and this is where our general store is going to be. Now, I wanted to show you this right here. I built a little area where you can get sleigh rides as you're going around doing Christmas caroling and doing your shopping and getting ready for Christmas. But there's this is the place where as you come over the bridge you can get sleigh rides. So the people are all set up here ready to help. There, there's some uh, people that are going to be driving the sleighs and helping people get on and off the sleighs. There's a little convenient gazebo that you can sit in if it starts coming down a big snowstorm. But you can actually ride a sleigh and have someone take you all around and do a tour of Christmas Town. But today, let's get back to this. Today we're going to build the general store. Now to start with, I I'll, I'll went ahead and left, let's get into K mode. I went ahead and left the foundations down so we don't take time doing that and the little porch kind of deck area. I went ahead and left that up and to have it all decorated just, just to save a little bit of time. It's the castle keeps and forts building some structures and we're going to do the entire thing out of that. So what you'll want to do is have uh, it's a five by six foundation so you need 30 foundations and then we're going to start out here by putting these big display windows in the front. We want two on that side. There we go. And there and then we want our front our big door we want the big double wide door and that's our front area and then this whole other area from here around will be walls. I'll do that very quickly. Okay, so all the way around that's 15 walls. So then I want to take these half walls and place them around just so we have a little bit of height for our heads and again it's 15 of those. And then on the front here, we want to use the half walls, but to give it a little bit of different texture, different look, uh, separate it up just a little bit. We're going to use, before, these building uh, were the villager, those structures. All the floors, the foundations, and the walls. These are the settler, I believe. Yes, settler. So we're using settler walls for the upper front region to kind of just separate it off and, and give it a different look. Oops, nope. See, that's... So, that'll be eight of those. One, two, three, four, five on the first row, three on the top row. And that just gives it a little bit of a different look. We're also going to change that in a little bit, too. So, then the next thing you want is your ceilings. We're just going to use these flat ceiling or yeah ceilings villager ceilings okay so there's our last ceiling if you notice some of these have turned a little bit different y you can use your it's called a primitive cosmetic change tool and it's with the C castle keeps and forts and you just take it and you can just we want all of the uh, ceilings to think go this direction. So that one's turned wrong. So see how easy that is? We want them to go front to back. Yeah, so that way they all are facing the same way, I think. Let's see. Yep. I think so. Looks so much nicer when they're not crisscross. Some are crisscrossing, some aren't. So Q will put that tool away. And that tool also, well let's just go ahead and use the tool since we got it out. You can also change your walls. So let, I want to, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I want number eleven, all of these walls along here. So 
So actually I figured out it's uh, structure variant 12. And if you're not using the gun, if you're doing it, you can see there's all these different variants you can use. And it's so much easier to do it with the gun. And I went in and I checked, and sure enough, it's actually frame 12 <laughs> is the one that I'm using. But you can use any of them, and you can also change the tops. But that, I don't know, it just gives it a different look. I really like how that looks. So then, I think we're through with the construction part of the general store. Next, we want to, like you've seen in the last videos, I put all everything, I, what I do is build the buildings and then I take them down and then I show you how to build them. So we want to do the furniture. This is the furniture barrel. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and put them down in our hot bar. Okay, we have these mannequins from Eco's Shop Decor. And I, let's see, I think you have to put them in through the windows. So we have four windows on each side and I'm gonna put a couple on the back also. They're kind of a pain because they you're not sure where they are and their stands are not all identical so they because Eco added some later but we'll just try to do our best so let's do this and then I'm kind of going by the back of the stand like that and then put one in front of each window Kind of center it and it just makes you know when you when you're buying from a, a, a store when you go into a store it's not so much anymore because we have malls and big big shop stores there we go that looks really nice yeah but used to when you'd go to the store there was like display windows and people could oh that that's interesting because when I go on the bench that kind of makes it easier. That might be a good way to do that. Uh, anyway, at Christmas time especially, people would really decorate their windows up nicely. And oh my goodness, to go and see the displays in the windows was just a major thing. So we wanted to have ours kind of look old-fashioned and have, our, have big window displays of things that people could buy. Oops, the chair's going to be in the way that people can buy in the general store. Hmm. There we go. Hopefully. And I've got some that we're going to put in the back of the... Of the let's see. I can't, well, there we go. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, he's, he's the scuba guy. In fact, I think I'll put him as one of the ones in the back. Let's see. I've got the manicure and the scuba. There's the hazard suit. And flak. Let's put the flak in the front. We'll put these in the back. There we go. Because they have a cool, very, very cool armor. It just looks really neat. People want, might want to look at it a little bit closer. There we go. Now, when you come to the general store, you can see it, what outfits you want to buy. That looks really good. Okay, so we're going to start on this wall. Let me go ahead and put these things down in my hot bar. And we'll start, now we'll start over in this area. We have the counter first, of course, when you come in, you want to uh, have a place to purchase your goods. So we'll place that right here in the, pretty close in the front. Let's see, I want to have it one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. And then we want to go this direction with it. So let's get, and you can see the lines that are drawn in the middle of the blueprint to help line up also. That looks about right. Let's go until we get like that, I think. Can't tell in that corner. We'll have to look. Is that good? Um, oh, that's pretty good, actually. Now, I don't like the shininess of where they're connecting, but I'm not sure that can be helped always. Okay. Okay. So we have our counter. Now, right here, we're going to have a little place for, let's see, I have a table. Where's my little table? Here it is. Let's do that. The Everybody comes in and they, the guys 
can come in and enjoy a game of checkers or chess together. Let's see, I think this is going to be plenty of room to get around. And then, of course, we have the old wood pot belly stove to keep everybody warm. And then, let's see, we have the table. People need to get around, be able to move around. Now we have a little stool for this person to sit on. And we'll kind of move it out of the way because he's not here right just yet. We, but we have this fella. He's here waiting on his friend. Probably Bob and Steve are going to play some chess. And we're going to be picking this up. If you watched previous episodes, you'll see when you have your... When you're placing mannequins and your people, you really need to place the chair last. Okay, so there we have that. Next is the, um, let's see here. Let's move this down far to give them room and place this. These are from Eco's Shop Decor. This is a weapons table. It has all the weapons that you can buy. Then we have the ammo table near, near that. I mean, this general store has everything imaginable. Then we want to have our clothing table. Yep. And now we want to have our fancy mannequins. Let's go ahead and put them out. Because, you know, they're, they're, they're at the clothing section of the store. So they want to be sure and be able to see what they can buy. One more mannequin. Okay, and then we have chairs because we have a shoe area where people can sit and try on shoes and you need chairs for trying on shoes, right? Wow, I have a lot more room than I did previously, so I guess I squashed them up too much. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and play, get our shoe area set up. And we need some chairs. Let's put one on this side. And then one over, the, the chairs are from Eco Shop Decor as well. So we're using a lot of, if you're, if you're building a shop or a store, the Eco Shop Decor is awesome for that. Okay, there now they can. So, so I think I put this way too far down. I'll change that up here and uh, bring you right back. Oh yeah, this is going to be much better. Let's go ahead and place this. Gives you much more room. I don't think any of this stuff would be blobbed up that close together, right? Let's see. Let's put the ammo bench a little bit further over. There we go. Yep, that looks much better. Now, people can get around the edges and the corners. Yep, okay, perfect. Now that's much better. All right, let's continue on down. We have this the egg uh, and kibble table. Again, all of these tables I'm placing are from Eco's Decor. Isn't that something? Look at that. There's a little penguin. He just hatched out of his egg. And then this table also, this is actually a crafting table that where you craft the chairs that we used. All the detail work on it. It's just amazing. And then here in the center, we're going to place two more tables. We want to make sure and have enough room to come in. Um, let's place this one first. And to walk around. So I'm thinking maybe here. Let's try that. And then the second one in between here. This one has a little compy, you can see. <laughs> Maybe about there. So, let's see. Let's try that. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks awesome. This one is the dye table. See, there's the spray painter and the paintbrushes. 
and all the things that you need to make a dye. And then this is the food. There's some pears. Oh my gosh. And that little compy down there. Okay, so we're looking good, I think. Um, I do have this shelf to put over here. This is a, another thing. All, most all of this stuff has been from Ecos, hadn't it? And then my, now we want to add the decorations. That was out of the furniture barrel. Now we want the decoration barrel. All right, we'll do the outside first. And then, so I have these wreaths. Well, let's first, let's do the bell. We're going to put the bell right here in the center. Like that. Maybe a little bit higher. There we go. And then a wreath on each side. Yeah, that looks nice. And then we want to have these signs. We have some on the front already. See, this one says bits and bobs. <laughs> this one says clothing. So we want to sign here. Let's go ahead and we want to put this one as gifts. So you just open it and then write gifts. And then we take our paintbrush. But first, these signs are from the RP uh, RP Editions mod. And, oh my gosh, they're so awesome! You can actually set uh, different fonts. That's that font. I would love it if we eventually get where they can be. Bigger or bigger. This is vanilla extract. Uh, dragon fire. See, some of them are so tiny that I'm not sure how that works. Let me turn my backspace on. There we go. The one we want to use is castle fire. I like it the best. Let me show you western, and that's western. But I, I really like the castle fire font the best. There we go. So let's do. Let's go ahead and do the other two. Uh, three. We have three more. So now we have our signs up. We have shoes, supplies, gifts, and groceries. And to paint them, you just hit them with your paintbrush and it's region one. We'll turn it to the color you want. But gosh, that makes it so much better. That looks amazing. The next thing we want to do is the decorations. Let's do the lights first. Q puts away our paintbrush. And let's see here. We want one for sure right here in the center as you come in. And we have these amazing lights. We've shown these before in the Castle Keep. Uh, no, the RP Editions. There we go. That looks really good. We don't. I thought I needed the chains, but I don't even think we need the chains uh, because these ceilings are fairly low. Put it. Try to put it. Center it. All right. I put them. Got them all up. Have them all turned on. I'll show you on this last one how you can. You turn them on, and then you have these light settings. Like I said, these are from the RP editions. And I like to get them up to 100 for brightness and then 100 for the radius. Just so it, see how much better we can see now? Gosh, that makes all the difference. And then I have some for the walls. I don't really know that we need these for the walls, but I think it's more for decoration at this point. These are from Eco's Garden Decor. We'll put one down here, put one down here. Maybe one for each center. How about that? Yeah, that should do it. Especially for these guys over here playing chess or checkers. They need extra light, right? You know, the people that come in um, telling all the gossip. Gosh, it, it's already looking amazing. Okay, let's put some of these lights 
here, let's put one, some by the door frames for it. We want it to be welcoming for people to want to come in and shop, right? And then let's put one here in the middle and over in the middle. Yep, now it makes me want to come in and shop. I want to come in and buy me some fancy duds. Okay, let's go ahead and work on the part over here. Now this this is kind of a, a problem. Not a problem, but it takes a little bit of finagling. Because what it is, the, this, these props are amazing. They're from Akka's, A-K-K-A. -K -A. Interior decor. They have different structure variances. And you look at the structure variances, and it has so many amazing things. There's statues, uh, magnifying glass, metal bowls, oil jars, but we want the chessboard. Almost. See? You don't have any way of knowing. So, and I moved, so I'll have to try, probably try again. Let's pick that small table prop up. And let's put it there and turn it just a tiny bit. Small table prop, and we want the chest board. Oh, close, close, close. So, uh, pick up. Make sure you're picking up the small table prop. Oh, let's see here. We, what we want to do is go back to the small table prop and you can actually lower it. See how thick the board is right there? It's really thick. So let's go with raise lower and we want to lower it down. I think one time's plenty. If you lower it again, you're going to get it lost into the table. But that's pretty good right there. So we have our chair ready for Bob and Steve is going to come later. We do have... A coffee pot so we want to put this doodad mod thing back kind of back in the back looks like more and maybe to the side okay so we want so this one uh, if you watched the restaurant building episode you can see it has the rusty pots it has a kettle it has strainers it's so so amazing all the different things okay now is that gonna do better See, look how far over it is. It looks like it's really placed well, but it's really not. All right, so we're going to try one more time. We're going to stick it on the very back of the stove this time. Let's see here. We want it on the very back. Good thing it's not, the stove's not going. Like there, maybe? I don't know. It looks like it'd be way off, doesn't it? Cook. There we go. Well... Yeah, that's better because you'd put the you'd put the coffee pot on the back of the stove. But I do wish I'd have turned it. But that's all right. We're gonna raise and lower it, lower, lower, lower. Uh, more. Nope. See now we want to raise slight and slight and slight. Yeah. Let's try that. Okay, that looks good. If we had turned it so we could see the handle, you can kind of see it right there. But it blends in with the with the stove pipe, but that just is so fun. Look at that. That is really, really fun. So our our people can come in and they can do all their town gossip and oh it's getting look how bright it is inside and it's getting nighttime outside, but oh how pretty it looks. You can see the bridge and the place that they're gonna be people gonna be coming by and getting sleigh rides. So let's continue on. We have to oh I forgot about the coffee uh coffee or hot chocolate. The guys playing uh, chess and checkers, they'll be drinking the coffee that they're making in their coffee pot, right? There we go. And then we have these boxes. Again, another really cool structure variant tool. But we're going to use these for decorations because I think they look like something that you might see in a store. But we'll do change. We will change one variant. Turn it a little bit just for different look. And this one also, it has pencil boxes. It has a paint palette, but we want box B. And it's just, it is getting a little bit dark, isn't it? Yeah. And then we have a teddy bear. This is just to let children know that they sell toys here at the general store, even though most are waiting for Santa. Everybody knows in Christmas town Santa's here, so... They're not waiting so much for having to buy, purchase their toys from the general store. We have three jars here. I thought that kind of would make it look kind of cool. And then I have this ledger. 
and it looks like something maybe you it would be for taking the money as people um, purchase items. It's very cool. It, it also comes from RP Edition, and it's a ledger, and if you're playing with the mod, you have the ability to change your coins from gold uh, to silver and silver to gold. Isn't that fun? So it is for money. So it just gave me an idea of using it for something to take the people to take the money. So I think we're through with the decorations except for the people. Let's put the people in. So we have to have some people minding the store. We need a salesperson or the store general store owner. We'll put them here. Taking the money. I'm not sure. I've, I'll bet there is a mod probably that has a cash register, but in all these 10 mods that we're decorating mods we're using, I have yet to find one. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do this guy. Um, do, well, let's do the salesperson first. <laughs> Get to move around. So I've done this several times in several of the videos. And so you, some of you will have seen it several times, but I want to show how to do these. These are mannequins that are in the RP editions, and you can change them up however you want. We want to change the gender. We're going to have a girl be the store owner, and then we want to change her animation. She's going to be giving out... I like how they can hold weapons, so we're going to... I don't think... Actually, I don't think I have a candy cane, but I'll have to get one later. She's going to be holding a candy cane because they can hold weapons. And then we're going to change her appearance uh, to make her... She's going to be that and then we want to give her I think she has a hat to wear I'm not sure let's see because we don't have to we don't have to change up her hair if she has a hat you know how Ark is not letting us see our hair it's going to give her some clothes no I don't see a hat I must not have planned on I did color some dye some clothes for them so they'd have clothes to wear but I don't have the candy cane I don't have the hat so we need to make her some hair that's make her some nice hair um, let's give her black hair nope let's see this is the hair down here okay she, is that the is that the blackest it will go and then we want to change her hair no that's facial we don't want to give her facial okay here we go <laughs> hairstyle let's see what would a store owner wear what not a ponytail I think you have to do it long to get some... Oh, that looks like a store owner, doesn't it? Kind of. What do you think? Hmm. Let's see. That It's just hard to decide. I've had most of the... Well, I really... If not that, I really do like the romantic. I think that is so pretty. And we'll have her have black hair. So now we have to do the fella that's sitting here waiting on Steve. This is Bob. But when you want him to sit on a chair, it's better to put the chair second. Put it last. It's easier to put the chair under the people than it is to put the people on the chair. <laughs> so let's see here. Let's put him as close to the table. Here we go. And we're going to kind of make him look like a cowboy. Let's see here. There, that looks good. Now he's waiting on Steve, and Steve will be coming in any minute. And they'll be playing a, a big game of check, chess or checkers while people are, and gossiping while everybody's coming into the store. So, to recap, we, we built, and then we decorated. We have all of the tables for the decorations. It's just turned out amazing. Oh, and the last thing we need to do is paint. So what I figured out is the the house, the, the buildings look so much better when they're painted. So to do that, we're going to use the spray gun. We already know, let's do green first. We're going to do all the floors green. We already know the regions, but for the floors, you don't have to have any disabled. You could just do all enabled and it paints all of the regions for you just in a click okay so actually as i was painting i was thinking 
it would have been much simpler to paint this without the furniture. So if, if you think about it, paint, paint the, do the paint first. <laughs> but see, that took the foundations and painted them all green. And then that make a difference. That just, it truly does. So now we want the walls white. I really like, and that we know that you enable region five. So we're gonna disable, you push down alt and your number keys. So we pushed region one, region two, region three, region four. We leave five and go to region six. That will, pa and then you put your gun away, but then you have to take it out. Okay, nope wrong you push make sure you have the right color of paint in your gun <laughs> then you paint uh, and again would it this been easier if it had to been if we didn't have the furniture already so i advise that that's my secret at, uh advisement let's see i think it'll be easier in here to do those hmm doesn't look like this are we not hitting it they don't look different Oh, I know why on those. Okay, we'll do those last. I vote after you build it, paint it. Don't wait. <laughs> See, that's what's good about watching the videos. You learn how not to do things, too. Okay, so these things up above. Yeah, I think they actually did paint, but I want to do all the regions. So let's do Alt and Enable. Push 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 6. And they're all enabled. Maybe they did get paint. Nope, there we go. That's much better. It just, it gives them a kind of a gray tinge instead of that charcoal tinge. And they just show up better. That's the one thing about ARC is the lighting for me. It's just troublesome. And then, see? Wow. Is this not so much fun? Don't, does it make you want to go Christmas shopping? I am so ready to go Christmas shopping. We can buy everybody a Christmas present, and I see that wreath is placed terribly. Let's change that real quickly. There we go. Yeah, that's much better. I think we're going to end this little video right here. I am enjoying all of the comments, all of the messages I'm being sent, and oh my goodness, we are having so much fun getting Christmas Town ready for Christmas. And I do appreciate that so many of you are coming in and watching my videos. Be sure and like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!